Fox a bunch of times and never seen it. Will you guys put it on TV? Yeah, what's your name? Wally Goodenough. Where are you from? Sarasota. Why are you here? Why else? The free, free Trump. How, how do you feel about this trial, about this indictment? It sucks. They need to lock up the people that's on my trailer, not Mr. Trump. Thank you, sir. Please show it on TV. Let them all see it. News just can't catch a break from the MAGA right. This convoy driver was incensed after Fox News refused to put his um, spirited Trump-themed truck and trailer on their network. And you know what? Shame on Fox. This is a beautiful piece of art that the world deserves to see. Just ignore the fact that the driver says, quote, they need to lock up the people on my trailer, not Mr. Trump. And then there's just a giant picture of Trump on the trailer. Of course, I'm kidding about the artistic merits of the trailer's design, but look, I'll say it, I would much rather see these um, creative displays of affection towards the former president than, well, you know, the violence and chaos that happened on January 6th. I covered earlier this week the growing threats of possible violence in the wake of Trump's recent indictment, and I think we all know that a guy spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on this um, piece of art is a much, much better thing for our country than violence. And I guess it means hundreds of fewer dollars going to Trump's legal defense, right? There's just part of me that feels bad for people like this who've been conned into supporting a man who wouldn't look twice at them if they were on fire. And I can't help but feel a little bit sorry for them. Or the masses of other Trump supporters who have taken to the streets to protest in support of someone who has so flagrantly abused the rule of law and mocked our democracy. Take a look at how, despite years of blatant criminality, the Trump train just continues to show up for their leader. Donald Trump's convoy as he turns himself in for arraignment, where he pled not guilty to a 37-count indictment accusing him of mishandling a trove of classified material. He is the first former president to face criminal charges. There were some counter-protesters at the Florida courtroom who could be heard chanting, no one is above the law, and Trump supporters shockingly, but maybe not so shockingly, responded with cries of, except Trump. Politico reported that the scene in Miami had a carnival-like atmosphere with vendors selling not guilty t-shirts and one guy holding a stick with a fake pig's head split through it. And although it was deemed a success in terms of how peaceful it ultimately was, this is the beginning of a long fight. Not just Trump's legal fight, but his fight to, to reclaim the throne in the White House his supporters so stupidly believe is his. Thank you so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.